get to work at a lake every day and we get to, you know, talk with people that are recreating. It's almost like being at vacation at work. You know, there's a lot of times we're out doing boat patrol or actually when we're in the classroom helping kids build bluebird boxes, you know, you sit around and you think, wow, it's amazing that I get paid to do this type of work. I think this is one of the things that maybe I was planning to do, you know, was, this is my thing. Uh, I really like being around people. I enjoy helping people and I enjoy taking care of the things uh, that people come here to see. I love my job and you know what I find is the more I talk about it with other people the more excited I get about it because people say you have such an awesome job and I just think yeah you're right I do. <laughs> One of the most exciting things that I've got to do is I'm very fortunate to manage a debris team that responds nationally to disasters. It's very fulfilling and uh, you just feel like you're really helping people who are in great need of some help. When you walk away from something like that, it's, it's a good feeling in your heart knowing that you know, somebody's going to sleep better at night. I love what I do. I really enjoy my job. You have to be able to multitask, which is a challenge, but you never get bored with what you're doing. The, the great thing about my job is that uh, you always leave, you know, overall you have a sense of satisfaction that maybe I did something today that made other people's days better. I get to go out and work with shoreline customers, work with volunteers, work with other state, federal agencies, local governments. To be a part and to be, a, uh, be able to have an opportunity to influence decisions that are going to have long-lasting impacts uh, to this project, it's, it's a significant opportunity. That's one of the things I love about this job is that you know, one day I'm learning to be a licensed boat operator, a pepper spray instructor, a quality assurance inspector, an educator. So there's endless opportunities for training. The Corps of Engineers provides a lot of training, both on the job and formal training in a classroom type setting. Um, probably one of the biggest agencies out there that promotes training and provides so much of it to its employees. Our training is so thorough, uh, by the time we get through, we know this plan inside and out. The training that I received with the Corps of Engineers, I have found to be the most rigorous, most extensive training that you could probably get in the whole country, whether it be from private industry or some other um, branch of, of the government. It's very rewarding because when you come to work, you're confident. You're confident that you know your job. The job is very important. We maintain the, the uh, river elevation for barges to travel through, carrying coal, uh, fuels all different kinds of materials and it, specifically at the power plant um, we provide hydropower. There's a continual power demand and a very increasing demand and it's very critical that we keep this generator in a run status because they're depending on this power to keep the grid going and to keep your home and my home and everybody else's with power. So that's why we're here. If this lock goes down, then the, the industries, the, pe the people that depend on the coal and the sand and the gravel, you know, they, they don't get it, and that's, that's huge. There's so much that goes through here. I initially learned about the Army Corps of Engineers when I was at the Vocational College. I uh, heard about it through our co-op coordinator and uh, became very interested in it, and uh, I pursued it and was lucky enough to get accepted. The SCEP position allowed me to check out the Corps um, in regards to di the different jobs. When you're in a SCEP position, you're able to um, pretty much see everything that goes on that you might be doing at your job. Um, and then you can kind of see what you really like to do from there. So one of the great things about working here is that I've been able to apply what I'm learning at school to the field. Being able to utilize natural resource stewardship and in my job as a natural resource specialist, being able to integrate that into what I've learned in college, I pr just found very beneficial. This job actually has helped me discover where I want to go in my, in my career. You can stay at a project and work your entire career there, or you can look for other opportunities to advance. It's all depending on what you want to do, where you want to go, and what you want to become. I'm a maintenance worker. Journeyman mechanic. Senior hydropower plant operator. I'm a park manager. I'm a conservation biologist. I'm an archaeologist. I'm an admin support clerk. Project manager. A civil engineer technician. I'm a regulatory project manager. I'm a maintenance work leader. I'm a park ranger. I'm a wildlife biologist. I am a maintenance mechanic. I'm a natural resource specialist. 